Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial by Shayna's Home DIY and Crafts. If you're new to my channel, welcome on board. On this channel, I do a lot of home DIY projects and different type of crafting. If you're not new to my channel, welcome back and thank you so much for your continuous love and support. In today's DIY project, I'm going to be showing you how to decorate your lantern for Christmas. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please go ahead and do so. Also, make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be the first to get my next upload. So the items that I'm going to be using to decorate this lantern are from uh, the Dollar Tree. I already had those berries on hand and if you guys can remember that bow that was requested by all of you that want to see how I created the bow. I created the bow so I figure why not use it to do a DIY project. If you're interested in seeing how I make this bow, please go ahead and click on the i card above. Alright, so this piece of foam here guys, I'm going to be um, cutting it down with my box cutter. And the reason why I'm doing this is I am going to hot glue this foam once I get it leveled up where it sit on top of the lantern. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use my hot glue gun and I'm gonna hot glue it to the lantern. Don't you guys hate the mess that styrofoam made? Hmm. So here we go and I'm gonna use my hot glue gun and I'm gonna um, put some hot glue on that styrofoam and I'm just gonna push it towards the lantern and hold it until it dries and that's just it. So now it's time to start installing my berries. So what I'm gonna do here guys, I'm gonna be using my floral cutter and I'm gonna be trimming down these um, berries. And as you guys could see, I don't know if you could see clearly, but on the berries, it has some little bit of snow. It's so beautiful. So that's what I'm doing. I'm using my um, floral cutter and I'm just cutting those down and I'm installing them in the styrofoam. And here we go again, the mess that styrofoam made. So as you guys could see, that piece of stem was too long, so I went back and I trim it down a little bit more so it can fit. So that's all I'm doing. I'm just cutting down and I'm just having fun doing this. I'm hot gluing the berries in different spots and I'm just trimming it down. It's so much fun. It was so much fun to do this lantern, guys. By the way, did you guys have a happy Thanksgiving? Type me a comment in the comment section and let me know. And we're almost there, it's just a few more berries to hot glue to make this look more fuller and nice. Guys, I'm sitting over here laughing at myself while I, I did the voiceover for this video and I said nice. I was thinking to myself, hmm, nice, that, is, is it food? I should have probably said more fuller and beautiful. <laughs> So after I finished adding these berries, I then realized that, hmm, it's not so full, I could use a little bit more berries. So I went back for the leftovers that I have, and here we go, I'm just cutting it down, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna keep adding until it looks full to my desired look. So now that I've achieved my desired look, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add my bow. Oh my gosh, look at that black and white buffalo check bow towards that red berry. How beautiful is that? That's absolutely gorgeous. I love the color, I love how it blend in. But guys, I gotta say, I had a struggle here. I was struggling with this bow. To get it onto the lantern i think my fingers are too big so i had some problems to get that um twine through so i had to uh, go for some help from my um, floral cutter to pull it through i think i need to work on uh, my fingers and get them a little bit smaller that's not gonna happen that's how i was born <laughs> so now that i got the twine through the um the lantern i'm just going ahead and i'm twisting it 
and that's how it's going to sit on the lanterns. Once I was done twisting it and it's um, nice and sturdy, I went ahead and I started to puff that out. So I was just pulling it apart, playing around with it, trying to get it open up and where it looks nice. So that's all I'm doing here, using my finger, play around with the bow and to open up um, each folding. And there we go. Now our bow is all puffed and secure. So what I'm doing here guys, I'm going to make small folding. So this ribbon that I used to make the bow has wire at the edge. So I'm just folding in and I'm making back and forth, going back and forth, folding in to make those look um, design that you see I'm doing there. We go with folding, we fold and we just fold and we kind of crimp it. So that's what I'm doing here, crimping it. Is that a right word? Ah. I don't know if that's the right word to use a crimp. I know they use that in the hair salon, but that's what I'm doing. And I pull it down a little bit and just to give it a little, you know, a little style to it. And that's it. We're all done. It's that quick, simple, and easy. So guys, I gotta tell you, I have this lantern for years. My sister purchased it for Christmas for me a few years ago. And I gotta tell you, I did not like it. I'm like, what am I gonna do with a lantern? But I gotta tell you, it had done its time and I've been using it, you know? You can't use what you don't have. And it saved me a lot of money from going buying a lantern. I use it inside, I use it outside, and I just keep changing it up. So I just wanna say thank you to my sister Chanel uh, I hope you're watching this video. <laughs> Thank you for this lantern. I appreciate it. Guys, I went ahead and I tried to dress this up a little. This is not the um, final spot for this lantern. And when I do a home tour, you guys will see where I place it. But I went ahead and I placed two reindeer and decided to dress it up a little bit. Um, their name is Joy and Noel. And I think that Joy and Noel is going to get married for Christmas. What do you guys think? Please go ahead and type me a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about Joy and Noel. What have you guys noticed different about this lantern? Hmm, I'm waiting to hear from you guys. I'm still waiting. I just love Christmas. It's my favorite holiday of the year. What about you guys? Please go ahead and type me a comment in the comment section and let me know what you think about my lantern. Yes guys, I did a twist on you guys. I had a lot of people asking me in my previous live stream that I created this lantern they would like to see how I dress it up so here we go guys for those who wanted to see how I dress up this lantern here we go um I just place it on top of my uh, buffet and I put Noel and Joy beside him again and this is what the final result looked like I know most of you guys watch me um decorate this on my live stream 
in so it's not that clear to see the final product but this is what it looks like look at these pine cone guys they're very long and beautiful it has a beautiful texture to it If you guys are interested in seeing how I made this lantern from scratch, I'm going to be having a link in my description box below, so feel free to go ahead and check that out. I'm really loving this bowl. The buffalo check is beautiful. Please go ahead and type me a comment in the comment section and let me know what you think about my wooden lantern display. I love hearing from you guys. I reply to all comments and I'll be waiting to hear from you guys. If you enjoy watching this video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, turn your post bell notification on so you can be the first to get my next upload. And for my continuous support, I want to say thank you so, so much for your continuous love and support. I truly appreciate you guys. Now remember, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Until next time, be blessed.